Okay, we moved the goats. They seem to be really into this new spot. Something about goats, they're like, some, Tina just made the comment, they're like in competition with each other for the best stuff. Mm -hmm. They're running around finding stuff they like. I think they also really like being under a couple of these little trees. Yeah, it'll be good so. shade for them. It's gonna be more, especially warm the next couple days. So yeah, we're approaching 90 degrees as a high. So mm -hmm. I'm sure some of you are saying, ooh, cool weather. <laughs> but it's all relative. These goats are, uh, they're having to have fur on them that keeps them through 45, 50 degree nights. So it feels warm to them. But so happy Ron's looking good. So happy mm -hmm. that they're eating blackberries and other stuff for us. So just having fun moving them around. Seeing their happy tails wagging. Seems like Harry's whining a little less. We haven't been giving them grain lately, but I have been petting them once a day, and maybe that makes them feel good. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. So, anyways, other than the goats, let's show you what else is going on. Let's show them the garden, sweetie. So, things in the garden are looking really good. One thing I'm excited about is that little walnut tree that's growing out of an actual walnut that probably was planted by a squirrel or something. It's actually putting on a leaf in here. I'll, uh, I'll try to zoom in on it. That little guy, he's a stick growing out of a walnut and he's putting on leaves. So that's exciting. And the, the rest of the garden is really looking good. You actually see green stuff standing up out of yeah, the wood chips, so that's fun. what I was thinking, it's a lot more green. Big tomato plants. The, 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 um, the pumpkins back there are putting on great big main leaves. So that's really fun. This dill is going crazy. The potatoes are growing like crazy. Just lots of good looking stuff, so that's fun. Really enjoying it. So. That's the garden and what's going on in the garden. The other big thing is yesterday we bought a mower and a box scraper. So they're sitting over here in this center island off of the yurt. Here's the, we went with woods doing our research. Seems like woods was a little more than the land pride stuff, but higher quality, longer lasting. So box scraper mower of a pretty pretty robust so would love to be running around with this stuff but it's just gonna sit here for a few days or a week because the other thing is that Garrett just got here an hour or two ago so starting tomorrow for the next five days is big uh, big project work mm -hmm. so we're shifting gears glad that the goats are sorted the chickens are sorted you know that's Oh yeah, we, we didn't actually talk about it. We took some clips of it, but um, we slaughtered nine. nine chickens today. When we were really picking out the little, um, the little black babies, Gandalf's babies, it, from just being certain of them being a rooster, we only picked out five of them. Mm -hmm. So I'm not sure, probably we missed one or two. Harry, you're <laughs> fine. Harry, you're fine. It's Each, okay, good boy. You're fine. <laughs> He's in a new spot. I think he always gets a little funny. So we only slaughtered five of the little black roosters and four of the older ladies for a total of nine. And that was a mm -hmm. lot of work. Tina helped a little bit, but she, at one point she wasn't feeling great. She didn't faint, but she couldn't no help for today. all of it. But our nephew Isaac helped a lot, so that was great. But yeah, we took out nine of them. So that means we're down to 29 chickens, which is approaching what would fit in one tractor maybe with a little bit of added rooster roosting space they would all fit so that we're would be nice to, to only a, manage one we're hoping to gain a little more certainty and if there's any more roosters from right. the, the, the the only cockadoodle do we should hear is gandalf's nice big mm -hmm. cockadoodle do if we hear any more that er, 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 we'll be keeping a sharp eye out for Who it is. which roosters we missed which young roosters we missed and then we'll take care of them too because yep. less than 30 chickens is good because I think we can make that fit in one chicken tractor. And so that'll be good to have one chicken tractor rather than two to deal with right now. We've got the goats and then we're shifting gears to working on the utility building starting tomorrow morning. So that'll be fun to spend some work days getting that built up. So that's it. That's what's going on. Ron was looking real bad and is looking better. The chickens, we've started the downsizing that we needed to do and we're starting to get a few more eggs. Somebody had been pecking eggs. I noticed another egg pecked today. 
So I don't know if whoever's pecking the eggs is someone we just slaughtered today or is it someone that's still mm -hmm. alive. It's, it had been a long time since we dealt with a hen that was pecking eggs and I hope we can nip that in the My bud. suspect is a silver Wyandot because One of the old she ladies. was trying, she was in and out of the box a lot today, this morning before okay. she was slaughtered. Well, she was one of the ones that I don't think she had much going on in terms of laying Someone eggs, so it egg might trap. be, might have been her. We'll see. We'll, we'll see. keep an eye on it. Yep. But so, yeah, just did a bunch of work with the goats, a bunch of work, work with the chickens and kind of have them settled other than just every few days moving them. And we've got this equipment sitting in front of us, especially the mower. I would love to be using it and knocking down these blackberries, but it's got to wait at least a week while we work with Gare on utility room stuff. And yeah, starting tomorrow, we will be cranking away, building a utility room off the side of that yurt. So that's what's going on. Quick update: we'll be we'll be filming mm -hmm. the we'll be filming the utility build, and we'll share that later. Have but, you showed any of Kevin's stairs? Uh, I took a little bit of film. Yeah, our family, Kevin and Anna, have done kind of um, state park style stairs building, and it's so cool. It was their idea and it looks awesome we're so glad they were doing uh -huh. it they did a little bit near the shop and then a big length of it off the uh between the yurt and the creek where when you want to walk to the creek the shortest direction there has quite a steep hill and they put a um some stairs there but yeah i'll just walk over there right now to show it well we can walk down it together looks I so good seen it over there yet. tina hasn't seen it let's go see our new stairs so, I'll turn the camera this way. We're walking by the yurt, walking south, towards the stream down there. I know on camera it's hard to judge the slope, but we're approaching a steep slope down. And our family built us oh the coolest goodness. set of wooden steps. <laughs> Look at them. They're so awesome. Go walk down them, Tina. Do, do, do. This is amazing. And Anna cleared all the way to the creek. So we can walk all the way to the creek and show everybody. So this is our trip to the creek. We were at the yurt. It's already like eight now, degrees cooler down now, here. Yeah, you step down here and in the oh shade, gosh, it drops amazing. It drops in temperature significantly. Feels so good. Isaac did some good weed whacking too. Yeah, they weed whacked this area. And this is the kind of path we would be mowing. As soon as we got the mower yep. hooked up and time to be working on that, we will be mowing like crazy. And now we hang a turn that this has all been cleaned up. And go ahead, sweetie, we walk down to the creek. So this is not hard to get down? No. Nope. They took out some roots and other such stuff. We had cleared the blackberries here, and I had done some yeah. major lopping. And you then had they done grew back. Blocking, and they grew back. So, the starting from ground zero again. Yeah, and they cleaned up some of the rocks and the logs yeah. and stuff. And then, and then that gets us already to the creek. So nice. Mm -hmm. <sighs> it's coming together, one little project at a time. We're turning it from a rough place to a beautiful place. That's it. All right. See you next time.